Hello, my friends, and welcome, welcome, welcome back. Yes, the older man is back. Today, we're going to talk about something that is happening at an epidemic level. Wives leaving their husbands, leaving their kids. For what? Who knows? Who knows what goes on in the mind of a woman? Gentlemen, we will never be able to figure it out because we are much more logical creatures. But for some reason, man, these women just, just leaving like for the stupidest stuff, just for a fling, for a stupid thing, and then regretting it later on, you know? It's mind-blowing. Anyway, we're going to get straight into it, guys. Subscribe, hit that old notification button. You know I always ask this at the beginning of my videos, and I would love for you guys to support me. 64% of you are still not subscribed to my videos, and you're watching. I know you're watching because I can see. <laughs> All right. If you want to book a chat, if you have any problems, get me over on askanolderman.com and if you would like a quick question answered, get me over on Instagram on the same channel name, Ask an Older Man. All right, let's get into it. So here's a podcast of a father of two telling his story about how his wife left him. Now, I saw this come across my feed earlier on another brother's channel. Uh, yeah, the coffee pod. Chisa Z. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I can never get it out of my lips. Listen, I love to support other brothers' channels, other sisters' channels who are in this space, who are still trying to encourage us to get together as males and females. I love what we do, and I don't believe that we can do this in isolation. So, guys, keep sending me videos from other people. I love to watch them. Listen, I have my take Shisha and other people will have their take on a particular on a particular subject. So it's great if you guys actually watch each other's channel and get the feedback and opinions from different content creators because you will learn something from all of us. So don't think that, oh, the older man has the ultimate wisdom. No, wisdom comes from many sources. I learn from the young. I learn from the old. I learn from people on my same level. The point is, is that information is vast and all it takes is for one person to say one thing one way and it will make a difference to you or to someone else who's watching the co the same content coming from somewhere else so i encourage you guys to go and always explore different content creators point of view anyway this particular video came from TikTok, and it's just a man who is willing to come on air and be very open and we, we rarely get to see men just open up about all his raw emotions. But yet, every one of us men have been through this situation. But here's a man opening up on the details on how his wife left him with his two kids. It's really heart-wrenching to listen to. Because listen, man, I've had women leave me in my past. And it's painful as shit. And it has brought back some memories. So, listen... Let's get into this guy's story and hear what he has to say. And I will interrupt occasionally just to put in my two cents and how I would have advised him what not to do. And you can learn if you're going through this situation. Because I had a gentleman last night who's going through something very similar to this, where his second wife wants to leave him with four kids, two from his previous marriage and two that she's had with him. And one of them have a handicap and guess how old and this is the thing that you guys got to understand guess how old this woman is she's in her 30s and what have i always warned you gentlemen about women in their 30s they are the worst i'm telling you when i say the worst women in their 30s are in the most confusing age that they'll ever be in when it comes to serious relationships because part of their brain still thinks that they're in their 20s the other part and has to tell them you better freaking get your shit together now unless you're going to miss the boat whether it's missing the boat with kids or missing the boat with relationships you better make a hard decision right now because this is a crucial time for you you are in the danger zone this is the zone where not a lot of men are going to find you attractive once you hit over that 35 36 not like when you were in your 20s 
but your brain's still going, oh, but I'm still hot because I still look good and I'm at the top of my career and I even, everything is going great. Where are the men? Where are the damn men at? And you got this attitude. But listen, I want to get more into this and then I will tell you the rest of the story about 30-year-olds as we progress. I don't want you to listen to my voice for too long. Okay, let's listen to this gentleman. And she said, I got to talk to you. And she you know, she sat down with me and we, we've been getting there for 16 years. We've always, I've always been straight up dedicated 100%. And she says to me, she goes, I met someone online and I'm leaving this weekend to go see him. My life fell apart. I don't know what I would do. I, I, I'd I'll, fucking I'll, lose I'll, it. I'll tell you exactly. I'll tell you exactly <laughs> what I did. I, I, I stood up. I, 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 I freaked out. I was, yeah. I was desperate. I was, I was losing it. I went outside my front door here. I grabbed this, this bar we have that we put on the door jam. She's always been like worried about having someone break into our house. I grabbed that thing and I went outside to my deck and I beat my railing until I bent that bar and I hit it so hard that it, it, it just, it bent this metal bar right in half because I was so. And this gentleman is one of the healthiest things to do. You got to get that anger out because women don't understand the frustration. When a man get to that point where you have pushed him, where there is nowhere to run mentally, he has to express that physically. Now, it happens in women as well. You know, they will break stuff and throw stuff and scream. <laughs> break your car windows, etc. But a man with power is extremely dangerous because one swing of anything can literally kill another person. So men have to be careful that when they have been pushed to that point that he don't he don't reach for that and you know what I'm talking about. You know how you guys are in America. You know how you guys are in America with your First Amendment tools, okay? Things, I'm trying to keep it YouTube friendly, but you, it could get ugly. It could get very ugly. So all I'm saying, good for him. He controlled it by letting his emotions out somewhere else instead of on her or kids or other people in his vicinity lost and confused you know and I, and I went and stood by my truck and and and, and i just um, i'm crying because it's like this is this woman is my everything right I mean, everything that i've the, the best word that i have ever had someone say is the investment that i had into her and my kids was everything like i'm one of those guys that like i don't um uh, I don't flirt with other women. Yep. I don't go out drinking and, and goggle at girls. She was my everything. She was a gorgeous blonde, a beautiful woman, and I loved her to death. Yeah. So we kind of, you know, once everything settled down. I Gentlemen, first lesson, do not do this to yourself or to the woman. Because the minute a woman feels that she has conquered you, because that's what she knew had happened. Women say, oh, I want to feel comfortable with a man. I want him to feel like he's my everything. No, she don't. No, trust me, she does not want that. The minute she feels like you have been conquered and you are hers, she's going to start to be bored and she's going to start looking for more excitement. I need to conquer something else. Oh, he's conquered. Yeah, he's my little pussycat. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Ah, it's just my husband. Oh, my husband. When they get like that, my friend, that's when you're looking for trouble. You need her to say, yeah, you know, my husband, that is when you know that she is not completely in control and that man still makes her freaking feel like he's driving me crazy. That is what keeps them excited and engaged. Anytime you make a woman feel that, oh, she conquered you, she's yours. She's your everything. Oh, dude, don't do that, gentlemen. The same thing this lawyer that I spoke to last night, he done that to his second wife. And it happened to him the second time where the wife is leaving. He's now 59 years old. Beautiful woman, beautiful woman. It's insane. But once a woman conquers you, my friend, once she knows that you're the bitch in the relationship, it goes horribly wrong. You have to keep her guessing and on her toes. You have to have a separate life. That's how you keep your woman.
it sounds bad when you say it, guys, I'm telling you. Because imagine if a woman said, yeah, I want you to keep me excited. I need you to feel, I need to feel like, you know, you're driving me crazy. I want you to go out and, and you know, like make me feel like, you know, that I don't have you all the time. She can't say that. It, she would sound like a damn lunatic, right? Yeah. But the problem is when she tells you that, oh, you, you know, I want to feel secure in my relationship. And I, bullshit. The second you make her feel comfortable, you are screwed, gentlemen. And I, I hate saying it. And I know a lot of you ladies are going to come at me with this. But I want you to be honest with me. Please be honest with the men on this site. The second you conquer that man, when he becomes yours, guess what happens to you? Pussy just dries up, lips closed, done, finish. Yeah, now you're looking for excitement. Tell me I'm wrong. Yeah, so through my, and, and I'll be, I'll tell you straight up, I'm guilty of going through all the stages of things you're not supposed to do. <laughs> the groveling, the crying, the complaining, the why. I mean, I, I, it, I was desperate. It's so hard not to. You know what I mean? When that's your life and you see it crumbling, it's hard not to. It, it really, you're absolutely right. And that's what it came down to. I was so like, I got to stop it one second. Yes, it's hard, gentlemen. It's hard because I know what we men have to put into a relationship, into a family to make it successful. The work that has to go into protect and provide constantly every day. You're building, you're investing, you're putting, you're sacrificing a lot of today because you see the future. You're not, you're not going crazy. So you're building, you're building, you're putting down the foundation, the blocks. You're, you're, you're literally building for her. You're investing in the house. You went out and you got the mortgage. You work your ass off to get that down payment. You, you put in a lot of freaking work and you and her are supposed to be doing this together and you see the future. She sees tomorrow. She sees next week. That's it. She can't see any further than that. And in this instance, all she sees is just some immediate feel-good dick. To hell with the kids. To hell with this solid husband who loves me to death that I married, that I committed to and gave him my uterus. To hell with all of that shit. I feel good because some other guy is there. Yeah. When I say it like this, you, you hear how crazy it sounds? But that's the reality. I was losing everything. Like, at that point in time, like, I get, like, not that I would ever do it. But I get what, what people feel when they want to commit suicide. Right. Like, there's nothing to live for because she was by everything. Right. Um, so I convinced her not to go for a short time. Um, we. You got to have your own damn life. I'm going to repeat it again. You got to have your own slice on the side, bro. You got to have your own life cannot be everything. I did a video about a year ago when I first started this channel and I was trying to explain that marriage is like, you know, those rings that intersect. I'm going to put a graphic up here, but the two rings are you and her, right? And then you have that intersecting piece and you see that piece in the middle. That's that small intersecting piece. That's the marriage. The other two pieces are you and her. She got to have a life and you have to have a life. And then if you guys both live those lives, meaning she have some activities outside of you and you have activities outside of her, the intermain, the, the piece in the middle stays intact. That's it. There's more to that, but you guys got to understand you have to have your individual lives to actually have a strong marriage. Tried coming up with uh, things that we could do to, um, uh, Know, help each other like you know like what, what do you need and, and I'll, I'll listen to you more and, and you know what can i do or what can you do and, and how can we communicate like really trying to make it adapt but it always seemed like i was doing more of the work so i think that went off like maybe two weeks and then we went out on a wednesday night i said let's just let's just go out let's get away from the kids let's go have a talk let's go have a drink let's just let's just relax okay um we ended up going to the local um, lake, sitting on the benches, and I said, "Can you just please just tell me what you're thinking? Because you're not you're not talking to me. You're 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 barely doing anything." 
And she just kept saying, I'm confused. I don't know what I want. I, I, I really like him, you know, but I don't want to hurt you and this and this, but you know, back and forth. So we had another kind of, not like a, not like a, like a, like a scream fight, but like an emotional crying fight. Um, and she said she was going to go and she wasn't going to go and she was going to go. And then finally she says to me, she goes, I'm just going to be honest with you. He bought me another plane ticket for this Thursday morning and I really want to go. So they've been still talking the whole time while you guys are trying to figure your, your relationship the entire time. Yep. Absolutely. And I asked her to stop talking to him. Of course. And there was even, t- there was even times I said, why don't you give me your phone? Give me your code just so you could prove to me you're being on it. Yeah. And she would say things like, well, if you trust me, you don't need to look at my phone. And then that's what fucks it up right there is like when they say stuff like that. And because now when, when you get into another relationship or, or anything else, it's like you're going to be questioning yourself because she told you she was being truthful. You were you were believing everything she said. And then it comes back, kicks you in the ass. It's like, damn, should I had, you know, flags up or whatever? It's that's uh, well, that's what it is. And, and 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 that's the thing. You're so blinded with desperation of being with that person that you here's the problem. Gentlemen, once a woman gets the idea in her head and it has blossomed to the point where she tells you that she wants to leave, you're screwed. You're pretty much screwed because once that seed is in her head and that other man has already planted that there and made her feel those emotions of being with him, there is not much you can do, my friend. It is inevitable because that what if in her head will never leave her. Women emotions are like a cancer. It's a cancer. And once it's in there, unless you have chemo therapy, you know, some serious, serious amount of therapy, right? That's that's not going to leave. It literally as if that person has to die or disappear or do something with just literally leave her alone otherwise that feeling will not leave her head once that seed is there my friend look at tupac and um w- will smith's wife how long ago tupac's died for christ's sake to this day this woman is still still obsessed with this man once that seed is in there my friend you're screwed more than likely this is uh, probably a school buddy that she had a fling with back in the day and she's already been alpha widowed right he was an alpha and he left her didn't work out now the what ifs is in her mind she's got she got to play this out otherwise she will be one miserable soul she gotta have a seriously strong mind to break herself away from that this is the problem that we have when women open themselves up to these situations the key is ladies you do not open yourself up to that. Because if you do, it's like crack cocaine, my friends. It's an addiction. Once you plant that little seed, and I know because I used to be the guy planting the seeds. I know. I used to be the farmer. I used to farm these seeds constantly. Back in my day, that's what, that's what I did. And these men, they plant these seeds. And once that woman gets that seed in her head, you, it ain't going anywhere. Five, six, seven, ten, twenty years later, your back. You could reap the benefits of that plant, that seed that you planted. I'm telling you guys, this is what's happening to her. Ladies, don't let any man plant that seed in your head if you want to preserve your marriage and be happy. That's uh, that's what it is. And, and 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 that's the thing, you're so blinded with desperation of being with that person that you don't you don't even like want to see those red flags. Yeah. You know, you don't even acknowledge those red flags, you know. Um and there was there's was other little things that went on, you know, like like when I would ask her detailed questions about like what happened, what did you meet, things like that, she would be like, Well, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, it's over, it doesn't matter. And I'm like, Well, it kind of does matter because like you hurt our relationship. Like that's that's something that hurt us. Um so that Thursday morning after our emotional disagreement, whatever it was that Wednesday night, she had come to the agreement she wasn't gonna go great no problem so thursday morning um i run the kids to town in the morning i came back brought her a nice coffee just like i do every morning i brought her a nice coffee every single morning even if i didn't have to go to town i went to town and got her a nice coffee like that's that was my job and that's what i did um i come home and she's in the bathroom she's already been showered dressed cleaned up makeup on and everything i'm going where where are you going (laughs) (laughs) you're never what is what are you doing and she says 
I'm just going to go. Now, mind you, oh, wow. my 15-month-old son is sitting in the playpen right over here. And I'm like, what, what happened? We talked about this. Um, and, she, you know, we had another little small dis- dispute. And I'm like, you know what? Fine. I walked over. I grabbed the baby. I grabbed his blanket. I grabbed his bottle. And I walked out. Um I took his car seat, I threw it in my truck, and I literally put him in the driver's seat of my truck, and I drove down to my dealership, which is only about two miles down the road. I tell you guys, she's been planting this. That seed has been planted. It's been watered. The soil has been massaged. Everything has been already done. That, my friends, is his biggest problem. He never saw any of this. And women are masters at disguising it. They don't let the husband or the man see that she is going through a problem with the relationship. It makes her feel good, feel good. And once she feels good, it is impossible for you to stop that. That's the problem. So this poor man is screwed. And I had, I had, I had uh, my, my, my colleagues, the people who work for me down there, and they are super supportive. They helped yeah. me for me while I broke down uh and the whole time i'm trying to call her like are you seriously going and she actually got in her car she drove to the nearest city she got on that plane and she left yeah unbelievable the betrayal yeah and the 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 the, the frustration the alone everything i mean i'll i'll be honest with you and, and i can a lot of people may relate with this and i think i'll say it i felt like all i wanted to do was sell everything literally go get a nine to five job and live like a hermit or hobbit, whatever the term is, and just hide from the world and make enough money to take care of my kids. And that's it. Like yeah. It felt like trash. Right. So me being the good father, <clears throat> I still let the kids talk to her while she was out there screwing this other guy. Now, did the kids know drinks. what she was doing? Oh, here's the, here's the psychotic part. <laughs> the kids knew about all of this before I did. No way. So she, yeah, she was prepping them. Like when I was at work and she'd pick them up from school, she was prepping. She even like let him talk to them before she told me anything. I was like, my so, kids so, knew about this guy before I did. Yeah. And now, and now you got to think is like, this has been planned. Um, now that you're saying that, yeah. like in my mind, it's like, this has been planned. She knew she was going to leave you. It was just hard to leave you because of, of the 12 year relationship that you guys had or 12 years married, right. 17 years. And, but she knew she was going to eventually leave you. So she, yeah, she was prepping the kids to do that, to eventually meet this guy. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh so, my God. Um, and she had her mom on board and everything like to watch the kids and pick them up. She's like, I got it all planned and they're all good to go. And I'm like, are you like, I, I, I didn't know any of this. Yeah. Like, this, like smack me in the face. Right. So the whole time she's out there, um, she's talking to the kids. The kids are obviously starting to miss her. They're kind of like, what's going on? This is weird, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, she kept lying when she was coming back. Like, Oh, I'll come back, uh, you know, Saturday night or Sunday morning or Sunday night. And she just would never show up anytime. And- You see any odd behavior with your wife, do not ignore it. You warn her, don't do any dumb shit because you you don't tolerate it and you'll be out. But you have to make a woman know that you don't have a problem walking away in any way, shape or form. This is the thing. Once women get comfortable, you are in trouble. Iced coffees, ever sadded, everything becomes perfect for her. Worst problem, my friend. Do not make your woman get comfortable. Listen, I took my wife to the top, to the top of the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France. Give her a big diamond ring. You know my words were to her? This is as good as it gets. Before I slip it on her finger, I'm just telling you, this is as good as it gets. Because based on my last marriage, I wasn't going to be that guy again. And she thought I was joking. <laughs> No, I wasn't. Okay. She gets great treatment. No freaking princess treatment. Kai don't do that shit. Nope, 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 nope. She does her share. I do my share. I am there when it's perfectly convenient so that she don't have any big problems, but she has to put in her work as well. And we go back and forth. We give, we take, we give, we take, we take, we give, we take, we give. 
that's it, my friends. And many times during the course of our marriage, she, <laughs> when hard times hit, <laughs> you know, when I'm being an asshole, she'll say, well, you know, you know, when you said this is as good as it get, I should have listened. I should have listened to my brain. And I say, yeah, you should have. I didn't lie to you, though, did I? There was no lies made. <laughs> and then she knows, get it together, man. Get it together. So you guys have to understand where and how much you have to give to these women. This idea that you got to have, she got to be a princess and she want to be taken care of. BS. Bullshit. 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 Do not do that. When a woman gets too comfortable, she becomes your biggest liability. I can assure you of that, gentlemen. That's the biggest lesson that I can teach you from this video. All right. I'm going to cut it off here. Let me know your opinions, your thoughts. Let's have a discussion on this video. All right. And remember, gentlemen, whenever in doubt, always ask an older man. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.